let's take a look at the circuit diagram for our PIR sensor alarm project. We're going to start first with a PIR sensor. And again, there are three connections that come from the PIR sensor and that connect to the Raspberry Pi. First, the ground pin on the PIR sensor is connected to pin 6 on the Raspberry Pi. The signal pin, or the middle pin, on the PIR sensor is connected to pin 7 on the Raspberry Pi. And the VCC pin, or power pin, on the PIR sensor is connected to one of the 5 volt pins on the Raspberry Pi, which is pin 2 we'll be using in this case. For our piezo buzzer, the negative pin of our buzzer is connected to ground, and that is pin 9 on the Raspberry Pi. The positive pin is connected to a 330 ohm resistor, and the other end of that resistor is connected to pin 11 on the Raspberry Pi. So those are the connections altogether. Five connections to the Raspberry Pi. Fairly simple. And let's proceed now to see how we wire all of this up. Let's go ahead and wire up our circuit. We're first going to connect our PIR sensor. And remember if you flip your PIR sensor over, we have the VCC pin, the signal pin, and the ground pin. So let's first connect the VCC pin. I'm going to use a female to female connecting wire here. So we'll connect the VCC connection first. And that's going to go to pin 2 on the Raspberry Pi. And pin 2, remember with the Raspberry Pi oriented with the USB slots at the bottom, is the first pin on the right at the top. So that's our pin 2. Next up, we're going to wire the signal pin, which is the middle pin on our PIR sensor. Our signal pin goes to pin 7 on the Raspberry Pi, and pin 7 is the fourth pin down on the left. So I will make that connection now. The other connection for our sensor is the ground connection. So I'm putting in a female to female pin here. And the ground that we're going to use would be pin 6 on the Raspberry Pi, and that is the third pin down on the right. So I'll go ahead and make that connection now. All right, so those are all the connections to the Raspberry Pi from our PIR sensor. Let's now proceed to wire up our piezo buzzer. Now, if you have a piezo buzzer, if you notice at the top, you'll see there's a positive sort of marking or indication. And that indicates, of course, the positive pin of your piezo buzzer. So you want to be mindful of that positive uh, plus sign. So when you're orienting it on your breadboard, that you connect the correct wire to that positive pin. So what I would advise is with the breadboard, you want to gently push in your piezo buzzer. Leave it so that you can see the pins or they are at least exposed a little bit. That'll make it easy and ensure that you line things up correctly. So when it is connected and everything is in place, then we can push the piezo buzzer in all the way. So for now, let's first connect up our positive connection. So from our circuit diagram, we're going to insert the 330 ohm resistor. So I'm just going to make sure that that lines up. Okay, and the other end of the resistor can go to anywhere else on the breadboard. And the other end from that resistor goes to pin 11 on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to get a male to female connecting wire here. I'm going to line it up in the same row here as our resistor. And we're going to go to pin 11 on the Raspberry Pi, which is the six pin down on the left. So I'm just going to make that connection here. OK. 
okay, so that is in place. And last but not least, we're going to connect the negative pin of the buzzer to the ground on the Raspberry Pi, and we're going to use pin 9 on the Raspberry Pi. So let's first insert this into the breadboard. And the other end is goes to pin 9 on the Raspberry Pi. Pin 9 is the fifth pin down on your left on the Raspberry Pi. That is sort of sandwiched in between the other pins. Okay, so those are all the connections and what we'll do now is as everything is in place, we can simply push in our Pizer buzzer in our circuit and we should be good to go. Now we can proceed to boot up our Raspberry Pi.